Ella and Steve have a big journey lined up. They need to cart over 100 tonnes of cement and construction materials to Central Australia. We've got to get this load to Alice Springs, urgently. The conditions up ahead have Steve worried. This Docker River Road, it's, it's closed indefinitely and I, and I can see why. I, I don't know when this is going to open. There is no road. It's been washed away. Unseasonal rain has turned Steve's normal route to mush, forcing him to take a much longer detour. The only option is to go across the bottom or right around the top. And across the bottom is the cheapest option for my customers. Fine, girl, we'll go then. You want to get going? We'll go. Now, this river looks like it could have issues. It proves no match for Steve and his truck. But the next bog hole is much deeper. Now I'm starting to go off the edge back there. Come on, truck, come on. Got a massive pile up of dirt back there under my. Big ask of these trucks every time. My big worry is when that drops down in a hole that it doesn't fall over. That's a big, big hole there. Bugger it. Might have to get the shovel out. It's good news. There's no crocs. Out here, it's up to Steve alone to find a way out. And with one trailer dangerously unbalanced, he needs to work fast. That is starting to be a bit of a scary angle. That's my concern, that this trailer doesn't fall in there and fall over. Luckily, he's got an escape plan. I'll let a bit more air out of these tyres. I'll drop my tyres on 50 pound, I'll drop my tyres down to 40. Let it build up plenty of air, release all the brakes. And give it a little go. Deflating the tyres puts more tread in contact with the ground, increasing traction. If get the second one up straight enough, I could unhook it. Take two. I'm going to rip the clutch out of this truck if I keep doing what I'm trying to do. Back trailers are stuck. They're just dead weight, stuck in the wet sand. With no way to call for help, getting out of here will come down to one man and his know-how. I've got to ease the load on. So I'll drop this back trailer. That's uh, nearly 40 tonne. I'm not trying to pull through the water if I can get it unhooked. Pulling the trailers free one by one will take longer, but put less of a strain on the truck. Now Steve can adjust his line of attack. I'm going to try and pick this trailer up on a different angle in new wheel tracks. But he's doing more harm than good. This trailer is sliding down, down, down into this hole. Time for a helping hand. He's usually locked in his dark little cave in here. Serious, bad chain. One down. You might see a smile when the next one comes out.
anxious hours. Freedom. When you get out of a mess like that all by yourself, it's, you know, it's not without a sense of satisfaction. Uh, I'm on the, on the edges of Perth. Perth over there. Steve can't relax just yet. I spend most of my life assessing camel tracks. Could be camels on the road. Washout, rain clouds. And now here, it's just a completely different ball game. Learner driver. Tradesman's you can't see out the mirrors. Slow moving truck. It's just a whole different ball game and you've got to just readjust your head completely to deal with it. Alright, well this is it. I take this one home and I might have a coldy and say good day to the missus. I'll say good day to the missus and you know get the order correct. But you know, you know what I mean. I'll be home and the job will be done. That's it, home sweet home.